Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum CS Pro users. Tutorial on Excel to CS Pro. Excel to CS Pro is a CS Pro tool that allows you to convert data from Excel spreadsheets to CS Pro data files or create a CS Pro dictionary that describes your data. First, we will look at how to make a dictionary using Excel data. I have a workbook with two sheets, person one and person two. Both sheets include household roster. Each roster may contain the information of one or more household members. The first sheet has each column name However, the second sheet, person 2, does not. The first eight columns will be used to generate a unique ID for each household. To create a dictionary, select Excel to CS Pro from the Tools menu. Excel to CS Pro window will pop up. Select the second tab, Create CS Pro Dictionary from Excel file. Click on select Excel file and select the Excel spreadsheet that contains the data. Navigate to the working folder if you are not already there. To proceed, double click on the required file or select your file and press open. First, select person 2 from the drop down list the person to sheet does not have the header change the starting row to one click on analyze worksheet the tool can only create a dictionary based on the contents of a single worksheet the tool will read every cell of your worksheet and determine what cs pro format best describe each column. The tool will determine if the column is numeric or alpha. And if numeric, what kind of decimal formatting is best for the column. Once the worksheet has been analyzed, the tool will display each column in the worksheet along with its suggested format. You can change settings. Let's now look at the each setting description. Include. If you want to exclude a column from the dictionary, uncheck this checkbox. Name. This is the name of dictionary item. If your Excel data has headers, the name will be based on the header but you can change it to any valid CS Pro name. In this sheet, data has no header. The name of each item will be the name, ID. If this item is used to uniquely identify the data, check this checkbox. You must specify at least one ID item for your dictionary but can also specify more than one. Because the first eight columns are fixed as ID in our case, select the first eight items as ID. Numeric. Check this checkbox if the data in the Excel column is numeric. You can override the Analyze Worksheet suggestion. Example. Check this checkbox and set the length in the integer length box. Alpha length. If the item is alpha, this is the length of the item and the checkbox will be unchecked. Integer length. If the item is numeric, this is the integer length of the item. Decimal length. If the item is numeric, 
this is the decimal length of the item create value set if the excel column contain numeric data with fewer than 500 unique values you can create a value set with each value found in the data the value label appears as value 1 value 2 and so on so you may want to edit them later in the cs pro dictionary editor zero fill numerics numeric values will be zero filled when converting excel data to cs pro data for example 150 might be stored as 0150 name prefix this name will be used as a prefix when determining the names of the dictionary level and record for example person underscore to bully to person underscore to underscore d i c t person underscore to underscore level and person underscore to underscore rack use explicit decimal character numeric values will be saved to the cs profile with a decimal mark the length of the numeric item must be between 1 and 15. If this option is selected, the decimal mark will be a part of the length. So 2 plus 1 plus decimal mark equals to 4. If the checkbox is unchecked, the length will be 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Now, click the Create Dictionary button to view the result. The error message will pop up. The name. Name has already been used in this dictionary. So, you cannot use the item name more than once. The item name must be unique. Press OK to continue. In this case, we wouldn't able to create a dictionary unless all of the names are unique or we choose another sheet or file. So we will use person one sheet where each column name is unique. The person one sheet has the header. Change the starting row to two. Click on analyze worksheet select the first eight items as id check the checkbox against relationship and sex items to create a value set now click on the create dictionary button the tool will validate your selections and then ask you for the file name of the new CS Pro dictionary. Give your dictionary name and press save to continue. The message, do you now want to convert data with this dictionary will appear. If you want to immediately convert your Excel data to CS Pro format, select yes. The Excel to CS Pro tab will open. The tool does not remember the mappings, so you will have to remap the new dictionary back to Excel. We have four frames in this tab. Select files, record to worksheet mapping, item to column mapping, and options. Let's go through them one by one select files we will use the same excel file that we used to create the dictionary if we choose yes this file will be transferred from the previous tab to this tab we will use the same dictionary 
we have just created on the previous tab. This dictionary name will be moved from the previous tab to this tab as well. Click on select output data file and provide a name for the output data file. If the file already exists, it will be overwritten during the conversion operation. From the drop down list, select person one. Once you have mapped a worksheet, there are two buttons that you can use to automate column mappings. Reset mappings. For all of the records item, remove any column mapping settings each to unassigned. Assign default mapping. If each column in the worksheet corresponds to an item with the first column mapping to the first ID item and the last column mapping to the last item in the record. You can select this option which will automatically map each item to this corresponding column. After mapping a worksheet to a record, you will see a list of the record items. In addition to seeing the item labels and names, there is a drop down list that shows the columns in the worksheet mapped to the item's parents record. Select which column corresponds to the item or if you do not want to mapping for the item, select the unassigned option. By default, this is two, which assumes that your data has headers. If it is does not, change it to one or to the appropriate value. In our case, the starting row will be two because the person one data sheet has a header. The case management options allow you to control how to handle existing cases in the CSPRO data file. The options are as follows. Create new file, modify, add cases, modify, add or delete cases. And there is another option, skip processing if the CSPRO output data file is newer than the Excel file. Only the create new file option from the list will be used. In the following tutorial, I will go over the other options. When you have specified all the mappings, click on create CSPRO data file to convert the Excel data to a file that can be opening using your CSPRO dictionary. After the conversion, first we will open the dictionary to view the value set in the items, relationship and sex. As I have mentioned earlier, when we check the checkbox against relationship and sex items to create a value set the value labels will appear as value 1 value 2 and so on so you may want to edit them later in the cs pro dictionary editor now save your dictionary now open your data file to review Immediately upon opening a data file, clicking on a case in the tree will display the case contents in the right panel. You can only access case view by clicking on a case within the tree. You will notice that each case has only one row. On the other hand, each roster can include information about one or more household members. The second thing is that the relationship and sex item have the value labels as value 1, 2 or so on. While we have set the value labels instead of value 1, 2 or so on. 
actually we added the value labels after creating the data file so these changes cannot be implemented in this data file so open the dictionary again and set the max value 30 the maximum for the person's record could be 30 you can increase and decrease as per your requirement we have already set the value labels in the relationship and sex items now save the dictionary and convert your data into CS Pro format again to create a data file again select Excel to CS Pro from the tools menu Excel to CS Pro window will pop up again at this time we are not going to create a dictionary because we have already one click on select Excel file and select the Excel spreadsheet that contains the input data click on select CS Pro dictionary and select the dictionary that describes the desired output data click on select output data file and provide a name for the output data file if the file already exists it will be overwritten during the conversion operation in a drop-down list displays the name of each of the Excel worksheet select the person one sheet click on assign default mappings again the rest of the settings will be the same click on create CS Pro data file to convert the Excel data to the file that can be open using your CS Pro dictionary now open your data file in the data view at this time the number of occurrences varies by case and the value labels are set as in the dictionary I hope you found this tutorial useful in learning how to use the Excel to CS Pro tools for more details please see introduction to Excel to CS Pro keep on learning and goodbye